running with an ostrich may sound crazy. Or giving a huge bear hug to a 900 pound grizzly is just nuts. Or being wrapped up by a 12 foot python. How about coming face to face with one of the world's largest tarantulas? I'm actually quite terrified of spiders. There are people around the world who live with some incredible animals. I don't know how much bison poop I've stepped in. Just fell in love with the hairless quality. My name is Jason Kenzie, adventurer and photojournalist. I travel to some beautiful locations to meet these pet lovers and to hear their stories about true animal affection. Sometimes it's dangerous. <laughs> this has to be one of the craziest things I have done. Other times, it's so much fun. I do. I love you all. But I can't take a picture when you're that close. I know there can be a roller coaster of emotion. This is my scaredy cat videographer. <laughs> but I'm always up for a great challenge. Yeah, These are my stories. These are my pet adventures. Hey guys, how are you? So I'm on my way to McDonald's Park. It's in between Abbotsford and Chilliwack. I've never been there before, but today I'm gonna to be photographing a Great Dane. I love those dogs, they're so big. It's so windy outside. It looks like I am almost here now, so I'll let you guys go so I can concentrate driving on the road. I have just made it to McDonald's Park. This is between Abbotsford and Chilliwack. It is so beautiful here. I'm about to meet Tanya. She has a beautiful, huge dog, a Great Dane. I love Great Danes. They are so bubbly, they will jump around. This one is white with black spots all over it. Kind of reminds me of a cow. I'm so excited, she's gonna be here anytime now. If you can see behind me, it is so beautiful here. We got the colors of fall. I know I'm gonna get some great photos today. Tanya is here right now with her dog. Her dog is even more beautiful in person. Hi, how are you? Now it's time for me to show everybody that I am a dog whisperer. I can get any dog to come to me. Awesome. The biggest challenge is going to be the wind because microphone and wind do not mix. Okay, so this trippy, we got her when she was seven weeks old because we wanted to switch from huskies that I had been rescuing for many, many years to a little bit of a different breed that wanted to be at home with us instead of wandering around. She was all good, and then at five months, she went down, she was paralyzed. The vet told us that it was time for her to be put to sleep because they couldn't fix her. We decided that that wasn't going to happen. So I started researching and studying different things that yeah. she was diagnosed with at five months, yeah. paralyzed. Um, she went on a round of steroids instead of being put down like they told us. And within three days she was back up, running around, no problem, no worries. Uh, once in a while, this leg will go and she'll start to sh kind of drag it on the ground. So we know then that it's time for a round of steroids, but she doesn't have to stay on them. She goes on them for 15 days and then off them and she's normally right back up to a regular dog again. Oh, you're such a good girl. I had so much fun with Tanya and Trip. 
I love Great Danes, like I said earlier. But now my photo shoot has ended, and I'm on to my next pet adventure. My name is Jason Kenzie, and remember, always support your animal rescues.